Hey guys, it's Alex. So, my acting final is tomorrow, and I just wanted to show everyone my monologue. Um, plus, this acts as one final rehearsal before I do the real thing tomorrow morning. Um, so, the title is New York Actor. It's about an unnamed um, gentleman who's trying to... He, he does commercials in New York. And uh, throughout the story, he's just talking about his experiences. He's talking about what it's working, what it's like working with other actors who are, who's, who are kind of annoying to him. Um, so he gets a little frustrated at one point. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It's from, all I know is it was written in 2004. I don't know if it's from something or if it's just this one monologue, but that really doesn't matter. <laughs> so, um... Here we go. New York actor performed by Alex. You saw that commercial? <laughs> yeah, that was me. When I was trying to be an actor in New York, well, let's call it a New York actor, I did a bunch of them. As a male model, a classy type. I get these jobs because I've got a good look, a clean look and a good body. That's the association they want, of course. So, I'm supposed to be an investment banker, or a doctor, or a dot-com whiz. The real guys who have these jobs in real life? <laughs> they don't look like the image at all. I mean, how could they? Because they're stressed, they never get outdoors, they have tics and acne, or they're balding, and, and, and they have stress like you wouldn't believe. So, I'm living in a dumpster. No, I'm... One step up, I'm living in my car, and I borrow a suit from a bald lawyer friend and get cast as this success fantasy. <laughs> now, it's all fantasy, of course, not imagination. Imagination has to do with truth, imaginary circumstances, truthful behavior. But for ad guys, it's all miracles. Instant gratification, no method allowed. I once had an audition for toilet paper. <laughs> really, really stupid. A guy's, a guy's ignoring his wife at breakfast, and she puts a roll of Charmin where his orange juice or whatever used to be. So he's supposed to go up and touch it and say, Wow, that's really soft. Like only the miracle of Charmin could get this rude, boring son of a bitch away from his sports section, right? Now, the actress I'm doing this with, she's trying to make it like, Pinter's the birthday party, all pauses and heavy sighs and God knows what else. I, I, I knew I could nail this puppy if she would just speed things up. So I lean over and I whisper in her ear, look, this is toilet paper, not Pinter. And she cuts to the chase and we get cast. Instant grab. Now even harder was a commercial where I had to down an entire bottle of a fizzy liquid wipe my mouth and go, ah, like, like, like it was the greatest thing this side of heaven. Now, I'm just one of a bunch of happy people, and we've all got to look happy in our own different ways, in the right angle and in the right light. Now, this isn't easy, and by the 15th take, we're all farting and belching in, in great rolling waves, and one guy with incurable hiccups is actually sent home and replaced by an understudy. Now, before they get the shot they want, I've downed about 23 bottles of, of corn syrup. One gulp each. I've let my belt out two notches, and I'm so full of liquid and gas right now, it's a miracle I don't explode. I mean, the look of my face is really, really soggy by this point. And, and I figure that with the gas bloat, I must look like a smiley face, a balloon with a smiley face, instead of the the cool dude member of the Pepsi generation they were looking for at casting. Ugh. But, hell, it's New York acting. On the old resume, it looks better than a three-month run doing Ibsen in Peoria. <laughs> Pays better, too. So, that was it. Um, let me know what you think. This is going to be posted on Facebook. Uh, and, uh, and YouTube. So just leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, I also did a few other scenes earlier in, earlier in the semester. I don't have videos of them, but, um, I, I do still remember the lines. 
I mean, I'd still have access to the scripts anyway. Everything's from the internet, but I don't even think I need that. I, um, I mean, if you guys want, I can do those again. Um, one, no, two of them require somebody else. Um, but you know, I could always get people to do them with me. So let me know. Let me know what you think of this one. And, um, hopefully, uh, I get a good grade. I'm pretty sure I will. And I'll have finished my first semester as a theater major and being on my way, be on my way to becoming an actor. Um, even though I preferably want to just do voice acting, who knows? Anything can happen now that I've delved into this. So, um, that's pretty much it. So, see you guys later.